expected to deliver the key dot address at the event, which is a culmination of a series of events taking place throughout the year to mark this milestone. We're going to go back, of course, to the IFP rally and 40th celebration, and we're going to cross back now to our reporter, Aldrin Sampier, just to give us an update of what's happening. Welcome back once more, colleague. From where you're standing, what is happening? where they are celebrating actually the conclusion of the party's 40th anniversary. There have been a lot of uh, parties that have been going on before um, this particular event has been taking place. Right now there are there's some entertainment taking place on stage and um, just to give you a sense of the insights of the party, remember that the party's representation in parliament has been dwindling and earlier on I spoke to the leader of the IMP, Mongolia Sports about why the party's numbers are dwindling and whether he should actually take blame because he has been the party's leader since its inception in 1975. Just take a listen to this. Um, the party in its current state at the moment when the IFP contested the elections in 1994, you had about 2 million votes, about 10% of the electorate voted for the IFP at the time. Right now, you stand at just over 400. You started off being um, the leader in KwaZulu-Natal for two terms, all of a sudden dropped to the opposition party, and now not even the opposition party, even the DA has now surpassed the has surpassed the IFP in KwaZulu-Natal, which was um, said to be a stronghold of the IFP. Is this at all a concern and are you willing to take blame that this happened under your watch? Well, actually, in Parliament, in Parliament, in front of our President, His Excellency Mr. Zuma and the government and everyone, I gave chapter and verse of the manner in which the ANC has, has used money and other things to, to actually torpedo our party. Uh, through actually uh, getting in, in touch with our chairman, who was Mrs. Zanele Makwazam who, who in 2011 broke away with quite a, a number of our people, you see. But, you know, I always say now, as far as this is concerned, we don't have any better authority than my friend and, and leader, Mr. Mandela, who in 2001 in a recorded message, which is recorded, which you can have on video, said we have, we have meaning the ANC, we have used all sorts of ammunition to destroy him, meaning me, but, but, but we have failed. He's still there. We cannot ignore him. He's a formidable survivor. Now, then there are many other factors, of course, one of which is money. I always say that money is the milk of politics. We don't, we, do, we don't have money, uh, you know, because you need money to, to organize the party. Apart from breaking our party in 2011, we needed money then to have our offices running, to have organizers doing their, what they were doing before and so on. And also, of course, in the election, there have been shenanigans as well. You know, the corruption that we have in the country has ramifications even through elections. Because, for instance, it's not a secret that the ruling party does use food to, to bribe you know, people. And there have been instances in Guazulu Natal, as you mentioned, where the IEC had to cancel elections in one place in Chosin twice because the ANC got people who don't live in the ward to come and post their numbers. And also about Kulusi, the same thing happened. So, uh, in addition, to, I mean, I'm mentioning some of the things which you asked me the reasons why we've gone down, and I'm, I'm telling you these, these are some of the factors. You know, which are but you almost seem to absolve yourself from, from the decline that the party has been facing. Some have argued that perhaps what the IFP should be doing now is find a new leader because you've been at the helm since its inception, it's been 40 years now. Maybe the IFP needs a new president. Would you agree to that? Actually, I wanted to retire long ago and I, and I said so at the conference. And in 2012, in fact, because of my insistence that I want to step down, 
the, 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 the conference decided to amend the constitution uh, to create a position of a, a deputy president, which we have. For instance, he's not here today. He's in Windhoek, where he's attending an international conference the, in which the IFP has been invited to participate. Now, and then the, the conference itself passed a resolution saying that they accept that I want to retire, but in the meantime, with all that has happened, and, and what I've already quoted to you from Ms. Mandela, they would like me as much as possible to actually help them to, to supervise the transition of leadership. So it's not a question of absolving myself. There is nothing I gain by continuing to, to lead the IFP. I would very much love, love to, to be resting you know, at, at the age in which I've acquired. In fact, uh, that can happen any time, even after this one, this, these celebrations. It's possible any time I can, I can because the Constitution is, is provided now for succession. And um, just closing up, um, as you said that the party is obviously um, concluding its 40th um, anniversary with this event. Yeah. What's the vision that you have for the IFP going forth? And um, I guess the, 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 the sense that I get is that um, probably after um, the next elections you won't be there as, as the leader of the party that is. Definitely, I don't, I don't know whether I will be there. I doubt. But, but the vision that you have for this party, and you look at the young well, representatives. Actually, even, I have a message even today to say that, you know, looking at the, at the glorious past, at the contributions we made, looking at the messages that we have received, starting with the message which was given by our former president, Ms. Motlanti, at our dinner. You mentioned the role that the IFE has a critical role to play, and also the national, the chairperson of of the ANC, His Excellency Balagambayate, also talked along those lines. And we've just received in a congratulatory message from President Kaunda himself, who was responsible for the founding of the party, also talking about the fact that they still uh, the role for the A. I mean, this country is rotten because of corruption, you know. We want to restore that moral leadership, that moral compass which is missing in South Africa today. Our country actually is in dire straits, not only because we don't have enough resources, because of the extent to which resources have been used, you know, by people who are corrupt. The Auditor General, Mr. Terence Lombembe, at one time gave a report to say of the more than 200 municipalities, only 19 at the time had clean audits. The reactions that took place all the time, we never, we never, when municipalities were under us, there was not a single one which actually was actually accused or, or that was actually responsible for any corruption. You know. So I, I think that we have that duty to restore that moral leadership, you know, which, which the IFP actually in Qatar demonstrated even before 94 when I was chief minister and even afterwards on, on 10 years in Gozulu Natal we ran the, the province. There was not a single what you call. We have made a, a, a very major contribution to this country. When there was denialism about HIV and AIDS in this country, when the, even the president, Mr. Mpegi, was actually leading that denialism, we actually joined the TAC right up to the Constitutional Court because in Gozulu were actually supplying pregnant mothers with nevarapin, which prevented, you know, uh, people, uh, young, I mean, people who were pregnant actually passing on the, the, the this, um, what do you call, disease to their children. So we, we demonstrated, so we joined the TAC as friends of the court because we had proven, and it was through that case that the government was actually ordered to supply nevarapin to pregnant mothers. And today, of course, it is described as the ruling party's good story, a good story to tell, but actually it was done by us. Thank you so much, Prince, for your time, and we wish the IFP all the best heading forward.
That was uh, Prince Mongosuti Butelezi, the leader of the IFP, the IFP celebrating or concluding the celebrations of its 40th anniversary this year, right here at Alka Stadium. We will continue with live coverage from the event. We'll also bring you um, the keynote address by the president himself, right here from Alka Stadium.